All right, in this example, we're going to find the value of the expression using a calculator rounded to two decimal places. Here we have the inverse cosecant of 7. Recall that an inverse trig function equals to some angle theta. And if I move the inverse cosecant to the other side, that's going to turn it into regular cosecant theta equals 7. Remember that cosecant theta is 1 over sine theta. And if I express 7 as a fraction, 7 over 1, I can then take and flip both sides. So that'll give me sine theta equals 1 over 7. Moving the sine function over is going to isolate theta, and that's going to give me the inverse sine of 1 7. And so now we can go to our handy-dandy calculator and calculate the inverse sine of 1 7. So we're using the Casio FX115 ES Plus. We're going to make sure that we are in degree mode. And then we're going to hit inverse sine of 1 7th. Equals, and we get 8.21 rounded to the nearest two decimal places. And so we can go back and we can say theta is 8.21 degrees. And that is rounded correctly to two decimal places. So I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to post them in the comments below. And thanks for watching.